Well, continuing to make progress, probably uh, 80 to 90 percent there. I have one challenge, though. I, I'm only putting out about 11 and a half amps for the port engine. So I don't know. I opened up the hatch. There's nothing smoking down there. Nothing looks out of the ordinary, but I couldn't see the, pull, the belts to see if maybe I lost the belt or if the alternator, the brand new alternator is going bad. This season, on cruising still the one, I'm docking my boat at my house in Cape Coral, Florida, the winter home base for Still the One. My plan this season is to cruise South Florida, including the Florida Keys, the east coast of Florida, and the Bahamas. Come along in my journey and enjoy the beautiful scenery, interesting people, and places along the way. You and I can learn something new through my experiences of a motor cruiser on cruising Still the One. So my plans are to get up Sunday morning at daybreak and head back towards Cape Coral. I'm going to leave at daybreak and with my intentions, it looks like the weather is going to be pretty decent. Uh, get out to the open ocean, get past the crab pots for the most part, and then um, we'll stay the night in Naples and then finish out up uh, to Cape Coral. Seven twenty-six, uh, plenty of light, and uh, pulled out of the marina, and now headed towards um, the canal, the channel, to be able to head towards uh, Marco Island. I've gotten through all of the danger areas, pretty much channel out to the main part of the Gulf, and then straight across. Yep, getting there. May have a few more boats to navigate around because we're going to go around in between these two islands, I think. Wind's coming out of the north right now, so I'm assuming that uh, once we make the turn, it's going to be a little breezy. Hopefully this channel is easily uh, navigated. All right, now the crack pots. We follow the channel out here. If I remember correctly, the channel is fairly deep most of the way. Out towards the end there, before I got into open water, we may run into a rain shower. All on autopilot, every now and then I had to on standby and make my way around the crack crab pot like what I'm going to be doing here in just a second. But I must throttle the engines back in a minute here and put the beta uh, lures out and see if I can catch something once I get through these crab pots right here. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Really a uh, pain in the butt. Crack pot crab pots, what I call them. But uh, I may be able to make it through this group without any adjustments. 
so far so good. Guts everywhere. Okay, we'll take you. You're going back. All right. Eight thirty. So it took an hour to get out past all the stuff. Still got a ways to go before getting to the deep water couple of shallow spots over here for my starboard side. I have a feeling I'm going to be using a lot more fuel today than I did uh, coming down with following seas. A little ways up here gets into shallower water before it opens up into the main part of the Gulf. Well, continuing to make progress, probably uh, 80 to 90 percent there. I have one challenge, though. I, I'm only putting out about 11 and a half amps for the port engine. So I don't know. I opened up the hatch. There's nothing smoking down there. Nothing looks out of the ordinary, but I couldn't see the, full, the belts to see if maybe I lost the belt or if the alternator, the brand new alternator is going bad. You know, I don't know. We're still pegged at uh, 17 miles an hour. 8 to 16 to 18 miles an hour. Slowed down a little, but uh, 2,900 RPMs. And uh, into the wind, I'm sure that's affecting us. I was at 19, but uh, that was before. But moving along, and uh, as you can see, we're getting there. Still dealing with the crab pots from time to time, but so far been able to navigate around all of them. Wendy says it's good, a little bit of breeze, but it's gonna be like this, I think most of the way it may calm down a little bit. Wind shifts out of the east, 
Right now it's coming from the north a little bit, northeast. Try to watch out for these stinking crap pots. Okay, so I've got the slip reserved at Rose Marina where I was a couple of weeks ago and my uh, gauge is now reading right about 14 on the port engine so I don't know if it was an issue with the gauge or if there's something else going on so I keep an eye on it but Definitely going to make it with fuel, just a little under a half a tank uh, left. And I should be pulling up to the uh, fuel dock in a little bit. I lost the other phone, so I was looking for it. 